Hi everyone, Timothy is here. Many of you know I am a huge believer in holistic healing. Today I want to share a story with you. A roller coaster ride about fear, hope, and ultimately healing. Two years ago, I battled cancer. It was brutal. Surgery, chemo, radiation, the whole works. Just when I thought I was in the clear, bam, another health scare. This time, it was my kidneys. December rolled around, and the routine checkup with my oncologist took a turn. A blood test result showed an issue with my right kidney. Tears streamed down my face. Memories of cancer flooded back. Could this be it? Was this the end? Despair overwhelmed me. Maybe this is it, I blurted out to my oncologist, my voice cracking. Maybe God has other plans for me. Maybe cancer didn't finish the job the first time. Thankfully, my oncologist is incredibly supportive. He understood my fear and immediately arranged a consultation with a urologist to get to the bottom of this. The urologist's appointment wasn't good. He mentioned about a blockage and possible kidney failure if untreated. There were, he even suggested surgery with stents. Ah, flashbacks to my past surgeries. Thankfully, he suggested a scan first to get a clearer picture. I held on to hope. While I waited the renal scan, I refused to give up to despair. Instead, I doubled down on the holistic practices that have been my anchor during my cancer battle. Flowing love meditation, every day I practice inviting the healing energies of divine love to flow through me, visualizing them repairing any damage in my kidney. I also nourish my body. I focus on a super healthy diet, giving my body the possible, the best possible fuel for healing. And then there was the connection to nature. Morning walks in the park grounded me and brought me a sense of peace, reminding me of the body's inherent healing power. And then there was Qigong. This gentle movement practice helped me with energy flow and overall well-being, leaving me feeling stronger and more centred. And of course, there's the Roselle tea that I drank, this natural source of antioxidants. I drank it regularly and I drank it with the hope for an extra boost. And not to forget the positive affirmations. I repeated a powerful mantra like a lifeline every day, such as, I am a happy and healthy multimillionaire. I mention all these practices in my book. You can delve deeper into these practices and my cancer healing journey in my book, Shifting Paradigms, A Cancer Survivor's Journey of Healing, of Holistic Healing. These practices became my sanctuary, a wellspring of hope. The renal scan day arrived. Eight glasses of water later, I got a radioactive injection. Then came the not so fun part, lying still for a whole hour in a noisy machine. Just as I thought I was done, they needed another scan. So I have to empty the bladder first, then fill it up with nothing because they wanted to see an empty bladder. Feeling like a science experiment, uh, but hey, anything for a clear picture. The wait for the results were agonizing, yet I refused to let fear take hold. Just like during my cancer battle, I embraced the holistic practices that had become my foundation. 
These practices became my sanctuary, a wellspring of hope during a time of uncertainty. With each mindful breath, each nourishing meal, each step in the park, I nurtured that tiny ember of hope within me, waiting for the day it could truly burst into flame. April's, April 2nd came and dawned bright. My morning routine calmed me, meditation, exercise, and my happy, healthy mantra. This time, I felt no dread at the urologist. I walked to the clinic, I soaked in the sunshine and felt gratitude replaced fear. Finally, the news, the scan was good and clear. Relief washed over me, no surgery needed, just a follow-up in a year's time. Leaving, I felt amazing, a testament to holistic healing and the human spirit. There are no words to describe the ecstasy I felt knowing my kidneys were healthy. To celebrate this victory, I treated myself to a delicious meal of roja and wonton mee, my local favourites in Singapore. This whole experience solidified my belief in the power of holistic healing. My story is proof. Even when faced with scary medical stuff, there's always hope for healing. By embracing practices like meditation, healthy living, and staying positive, we can empower our bodies to fight back and thrive. If you're battling a health issue, consider exploring the world of holistic healing. You might be surprised by the power you hold within yourself. Remember, you're not alone on this path to wellness. For more on Flowing Love Meditation and my journey, check out the links in the description below. Remember to leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button. I wish you good health, wealth, and love.